New Jersey transit riders have enough to worry about. They certainly don't need to worry about fare hikes, but they've been holding their breath since 2015, the last time fares went up. In tonight's commuter check, Jane Burnett tells us what commuters can expect after Governor Murphy made an announcement today about the transit agency. And to those commuters who already pay some of the highest fares in the country, I'm going to make a commitment. The budget I propose the legislature next month for fiscal year 2021 will be our third budget in a row introduced with no fare hike for NJ Transit commuters. Again, that's third in a row, no fare hike for NJ Transit commuters. Murphy made the announcement during a celebration for members of the latest locomotive engineer training class who finished up their classroom training and will graduate shortly. He also said NJ Transit's first ever 10-year strategic plan will be developed soon, and he told trainees what they can expect. We're going to fully support the investments being made in the modern and reliable locomotives and equipment that you'll need to do your jobs. And in return, I ask you to do your part in creating a new culture of success. When the seven trainees honored today graduate, 169 new engineers will have started at NJ Transit since late 2018. It's not bad news, but it's not necessarily good news. So there's no fair hike, but they still got to wait for the big unveiling of the 10 year plan. And who knows when and what that's going to be all about and how they're going to pay for it. Right. Yeah, there's still a long way to go. I mean, this 10 year strategic plan, we have to wait and see what that's going to be about and see if there are going to be more things coming, you know, commuters way. But this fair hike hopefully will do some good or non fair hike. All right. Thank you, Jane. Listen, we're going to check in with you a little bit later in the show. Uh, something about soulmates. <laughs> yeah. Fun new poll coming out.